Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about getting the YouTube dark mode running on our Android devices. And we're gonna do that without using any kind of root method. We're not gonna modify the APK. We're actually gonna do a few commands using ADB on our PC to be able to turn it on today. This is TK, let's check it out. First thing we need to do on our PC is download a couple of files from an article that we have here on the XDA portal. If you scroll about halfway down the page, you'll notice there is the link to the YouTube app on the Google Play Store. Make sure you're running the latest version on your device. The next thing we need to do is make sure that we have the platform tools, which basically is ADB uh, running on our device. And if you don't have uh, basically the latest version of ADB on your PC, go ahead and click this link. It'll take you to this other article where you can download the latest for Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Keeping that in mind, we do need to download also one more file. That's the YouTube dark theme underscore XTA. Now here, what you need to do is just keep those two files in the same folder, unzip them, and then have them ready to be able to basically interface with our system. Uh, the one thing you do need to keep in mind is that the YouTube dark file, this little uh, file.ab, you should have it in the same folder. So I would say copy it and paste it in the same folder where your ADB file is. And I have mine sitting here waiting for us to process. Now. Before we can move forward, we need to connect our device to the PC as well as turn on USB debugging so that we can communicate with it using ADB. On our device, go into settings, find about, and then go ahead and click the build number on your device up to seven times till your device says that you are a developer. Go back one step, and then at this point, you'll be able to basically select USB debugging. Now that we have it there, we'll go ahead and select USB debugging. And then back on our PC, what we need to do now is in the folder where we have all those zip files, just hold the control shift on your PC, right click, and then go open PowerShell. You can use PowerShell or Windows command prompt. Both will work fine. We have the commands for both. There's just a slight modification for PowerShell. Uh, but before we go there, we need to make sure that our device can communicate to the PC. So we type in ADB devices. And you notice right there, I already have the word, uh, the command prompt right there, it says device. Now, because I've connected the, my device to this PC before, this is where it's working. But for you, if this is the first time, you're gonna get unauthorized as opposed to the word device, and it'll prompt you on your phone to confirm uh, access. And once you confirm that, hit ADB devices one more time, and you'll be able to basically get access to it. Now we're pretty much ready. We just need to go ahead and type in the command that's corresponding to our system. Again, if you're running Linux, Mac OS, Windows, or Windows, uh, Windows Windows PowerShell or Windows Command Prompt. It's pretty simple. You can just copy the entire command, go into your PC, and then right click. And as you can see here, there it's dot backslash adb restore, and then this is the YouTube dark theme underscore xta.ab. This is not modifying the APK, this is not rooting the device. All this is doing is providing a backup, which is what allows us to do with an Android on the system so that the actual YouTube application can turn that feature on as it's actually embedded within the YouTube app, it just hasn't been turned on for you yet. And you'll notice on the device, we'll get this nice new little prompt that's gonna give us access to be able to basically run that restore. And as you saw, it went from a normal YouTube application to dark mode. And that's it. As you saw, the process is very simple. Just follow the steps and you should be able to turn it on on your device. Again, keep in mind, you need to have the latest version of the YouTube application running. Um, I think this is really cool. It's gonna be available sooner or later on our devices. Currently it's not. Um, and this is one way to jumpstart this process if you wanted to have it today. Uh, like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and thank you very much for the support. I'll see you guys in the next video.